Hello and happy hump day, as we say, which means if it is your Wednesday, you're halfway to the weekend if you have weekends off. Just want to give you a check-in with Holly and Audie, or Audie Holly. Uh, thanks again for everybody's reaching out and everybody's help. I was contacted by Audie Monday because I wrote to them on the president on Sunday. And then yesterday they were going to send a car to pick me up to take me to pick up a rental car. And I waited downstairs and it was over half an hour late. So because I had plans with some Canadian friends that are in town, I had to forego getting the ride over to the rental car place before they closed. And so I didn't make it. And then today I worked late, so I couldn't get it again today. Uh, yeah, so I just want to touch on a few things is that this is very um, bad experience. Uh, I can't control what Audi does. I can only control how I handle the situation. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Um, if I owned a company, it's I don't own an Audi company or any kind of company at this point besides my own comedy, which is tiny. I have one employee myself. I may run a, you know, a business differently. I work for a very large corporation with over 100,000 staff. It's very hard to manage something that large. So I try, what I'm saying is I am just trying to cope with it and make the best of it and learn from it. And whatever the outcome is, I know that I did my best to try and have a positive outcome. So I'm not losing sleep over it. I've lost miles, obviously. <laughs> on my Q7, but um, no sleep, I have not lost sleep over it. Yes, it sucks, um, but life goes on and um, everything will be okay. I'm safe, I didn't get harmed, but it's just really disappointing that when I, you know, I wake up on the right side of the bed all the time because I learned that if I push my bed up against the wall and I get out on the right side of the bed every single day, I don't have a choice, right? Well, we all have a choice. So to stay positive and just learn from it and maybe help somebody else that might be in this crazy position as me um, now or later in life and that I can use my skills that I learned along the way to help somebody else. Yeah. So there's that. So I'll try and go get that rental car. I figured if I took the rental car, then they can say that they offered me something so they won't pay me going forward anymore for not having a vehicle that was offered to me. So after our over 170 days, I'm gonna go pick up a rental car at their expense. And I'm thinking that might expedite their end to find a part that's going to fix the Q7. Or I also got an email from Audi that said, um, if you send us your paperwork of how much you paid for your car and your registration, et cetera, et cetera, they are considering a repurchase. So I honestly, I have no idea what that means. I don't obviously want the Q7, but if it gets fixed, then I would sell it. So we'll see what, how that comes. But also, um, I wouldn't feel right selling it to somebody except for the Audi in case something happened. I've read up on a ton of forums and reached out to people that are in an Audi Q7 forum. And this has happened to other people for the same part and waited for it. And believe it or not, the part did not work and didn't, uh, the car never ever worked again. So, so there's that. Um, my knee is killing me. I Tomorrow is a week from tomorrow. I get to see my doctor about my MRI results. And uh, there's no rhyme or reason when or how or why it starts to hurt. I have tried everything. Uh, the only thing that helps is to stay off of it and ice it. And even then, sometimes I will wake up in the middle of the night. It's just so painful. I will keep you posted on that. So yeah, Audi my knee um, and oh comedy yay tomorrow no two more sleeps two more sleeps before i do an open mic which is a really awesome show at shannon brewery company on main street in keller texas it is a fun time and it's a brewery and it's free comedy you just come and buy they have amazing food in a food truck and they have great beer of course because it's a brewery so shout out to those of you in the area. And if you can't make Friday night, August the 5th, I do have a comedy competition coming up in Plano, Texas, August the 16th, and I'll be posting that. I hope you had an amazing day. I'm getting ready to hit the hay, which is right behind me because 
my hay is every, you know, here, bathroom's there, kitchen's there. It's, you know, everything is all in one, which is great because my knee is bad. So I can touch the toilet, reach out and touch the toilet from my bed as well as touch the stove. So whatever I need to do, I'm all in, you know, compact area. It's very conducive to having a bad knee and not being able to walk far or want to get out of bed. Anyways, love and miss you ton. Long video, but I wanted to give you an update and thanks for your support. Peace out. Have a good rest of the week.